And I'm not sure if anybody wants to use these in particular, but these are just individual. But you can always pull out the needle from your own um, tool, or you can just pick one up from here. Okay, so starting yet, let's see. Stop video. Are we recording? Yes, I think we're recording. Okay, I'm going to pause it just because we have a few minutes before we get started officially. Resume. Hello, thank you guys for coming out. Um, it's Friday, so if you uh, made a name tag in the other class, um, if you brought it, you can wear it. If you want to drop one, you weren't here in the other class. Um, I'm just going to be easier for all of us to remember everyone's name. So I'll just pass it on the bag and you can put a name tag and use that pen in there to make the name tag. And if you want to bring it you know, to other classes that we have or other classes here at the center, you know, I'm sure it would help to get everybody's name a little bit memorized more easily. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So just as far as materials go, um, I should have put in the kit um, the ball for the head. And I, I tried to kind of match the colors of the belt and the little ball, but honestly, they're going to get covered. The little ball is going to get covered, so it's not a big deal if it doesn't match perfectly. Um, and then I put a larger piece of felt for the body, okay? And I should have more of all the colors in case you guys kind of run out. Um, I put a smaller amount of felt and that's to be used for like the face or the little tummy. Um, I put a small piece of felt for the eyes, okay? This, I just put black because uh, it would fit on most of them, but if you want to make the eyes a different color. Uh, okay, if I missed one, yeah. Okay, um, so I could come around with that or if you want to pick, I have like obviously lots of colors, you can make the eyes. Um, and then I also did not put pink um, because the pink really is kind of dependent on what would look best on the face. So for example, this pink wouldn't really show up on this pink more like a peachy pink. So I put this kind of more a hot pink, okay? But I don't think this and this blue would look good. So I think this pink would match better. So it just kind of depends on the end what pink you want on the cheeks. If you don't want any cheeks, that's fine. You don't have to use a pink, okay? That's a precarious spot. Uh, there's actually another spot. Actually, you can pull up right here next to my side right here. <laughs> Because it's a little proud of the way they made the tables. Are you coming up? Yes. Okay. Oh, no, you're fine. Um, it's okay. So I did put a plate. Usually I put a plate in there just to kind of hold all your little knickknacks and felt. And sometimes we use needles and stuff. So hold that stuff in there. Um, if you are missing anything, like I said, I, I have stuff up here, okay? Uh, oh, why don't you go ahead and pick on that table? There's a bunch of colors, a bunny. Why do the ribbon? Okay, the ribbon is actually left over from the felt heart, so you don't want to use it. 
Unless you want to put the ribbon on the on the rabbit somewhere, use it if you want to. Okay. And then shoot it. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. As far as tools go, uh, most of you guys have the needle tool that's like has multiple needles in there. Okay. If you want to use just two needles, I actually have been doing a lot of felting with just holding two needles like uh, these ones. Um, so if that's more comfortable for you to felt, I've just been holding two needles like this at a time to felt the, actually everything, even the, even the body, okay? So if you want to grab two needles up here to do that and you don't want to pull apart your tool to grab the needle, you can do that, okay? Um, I also did pass around some of these that are just a single needle slip down a single needle tool so that might be an option okay if you want to do that either kind of amount of needles usually works um, you will need a smaller one for or one or two for the small details okay all right so to start off we're going to be belting the little ball and the body separately and then we're going to be putting them together okay so all we have to do is start off with the main color that you're going to be using for the, the rabbit. In this case, mine is blue color. And I'm going to start off by attaching this felt to the styrofoam ball. Okay. So if you don't know how much to use, okay, when you grab a piece of your wool, and just remember that when you separate the wool, okay, you want to pull it off gently because it'll come off that way. If you try to like rip it, it's gonna be, uh, rip it off, it's gonna be very hard, okay? So it just, the fibers separate gently, okay? So you wanna grab enough and kind of bring it together uh, close enough so that when you cover the styrofoam ball, you don't see any of the white showing through, okay? And again, this is the color that has the, like, the most amount in your bag, okay? So I'm going to kind of just hold that in place there, have enough to cover a section. Okay. Uh, I don't know. It's maybe about a quarter of an inch like thick on there. And then we just start applying it onto the ball and felting it. Um, you can work on your styrofoam block here as the base. Okay. Just kind of work as like a platform. Okay. Um, I am very bad about... Oh, yeah. I, did I not put one in there? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Sorry. <laughs> that's, no, that's fine. Um, so uh, I do have some of those little leather, you know, uh, finger protection mitts, whatever they're called. They're somewhere around here. I just, I'm very bad about uh, keeping track of those. I probably lost like half of them already because I just don't use them. <laughs> Oh, okay. So if you don't want to poke your fingers, we can track some down. There's somewhere in here. <laughs> They're in some of the bags too. There's yeah, there's one right here. <laughs> All right. And, you know, with this one, you can probably use the bigger uh, needle tool. So I'm going to switch to this one. Um, is this anybody's first time in needle felting? Oh, okay. okay. So what needle felting is, just to introduce it a little, it's basically just taking the wool and using this serrated needle that has little barbs on it. It's like you're grabbing the fibers on the outside and burying them on the inside. And so that's what kind of locks it in place. Okay. 
So just be careful with the needle tool. Um, you know, everybody is bound to poke themselves at one time or another. It does hurt really bad because it's a thick needle with barbs on it. So try not to poke yourself. <laughs> um, and yeah, but the process is very simple. You should be going into the ball probably about like a uh, half an inch at this point. The deeper you set the needle tool, the more it's going to pull the fibers down and lock them into place. So at this point, you're really trying to guide, like smush it in there. So you can go pretty uh, deep, like I said, about half an inch. For more surface felting, then you probably want to go maybe just a quarter of an inch. Okay, yeah. It just kind of depends on how deep okay. we're making it, exactly. how much we want to lock it down. Very yes, right now, now you can just cover the entire ball and we'll stick them all together. Yeah, so right here I just kind of wrapped it around and then I'm going to another piece, layering it on top to cover the top. Well, you may have a little left over. Yeah, it takes a minute to get in there. Okay, I'm going to try to cover it. And again, I'm trying to cover it so all the white spots are covered on the ball. Okay, and then um, some people usually when they start to have questions about like where to get this stuff, um, most of the stuff that I get for the classes comes from Hobby Lobby. Um, and, you know, they have the styrofoam balls in their craft section. And then they have their felting tools in their like crocheting yarn section. Um, and they also have really cute um, beginner kits. So if somebody wants to try a beginner kit, um, they already have pre-made amounts of felt that you can make. The only thing that the beginner kits don't have at Hobby Lobby and other craft stores is a styrofoam, which I use to replace a lot of the work that it would normally take because normally you would take the ball of roving the full wool and make a ball and that takes a while. So I just kind of uh, use the styrofoam to make the process a little bit faster for plastics. Okay. So try to use it kind of like a pen tool so that it's a little bit easier for you to work with. You're, you're fine. So right now you're kind of like plunging it. Oh, yeah. it's a little loose. So let me tighten this for you. It's screwed and unscrewed so you can use more oh. like needles. So I'm kind of holding it like a big pen. And then uh, that's mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do like maybe half an inch. You don't have to shove it in there. <laughs> It's just going to shift the fibers mm -hmm. wavy. And then as it's going, you see how it happens. I'll show you the way it's going to be interested. Yeah. It's going to be interested. 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 It's going to be that one? Yeah. It's fine for now because we're going to add one. Yes. For right now, because we're just starting, it's okay if it's a little bit loose, like the fibers, because we're going to add the other ball and we're going to end up felting more. So it's okay. It's hard to do. It's hard to do. Yeah, it does take a, uh, you know. No, I mean, this ball is making it harder to do than the styrofoam. Oh, yes, the small one is. So the small one, I was going to show you guys. Oops. If you're ready for that one. Um, you know, once you finish the uh, the styrofoam ball and you're ready for the, the head, you actually want to put a little bit more than the styrofoam because you want to make the head a little bit thicker kind of proportionally. So I'm actually kind of wrapping it a little bit more with felt. And again, I'm just trying to look and see how how big do I really want to make this head in proportion to the body. 
So I'm going to add like a little bit extra on this ball. <laughs> so the, the head should be quite, you know, thickly covered with the felt. um just to keep in mind you should be hearing the crunching in the styrofoam so if you would like you should hear a little bit of a crunch, right, when you're felting on the ball. Same thing with the uh, felting on the head. You should hear a little bit of a crunch when you're felting it on the little wool ball, too. So, again, you want to cover this ball a little bit more than the styrofoam. And then you should be able to hear it rubbing the needle in there a little bit, at least. Mm -hmm. you're not hearing it. If you don't hear anything, yeah, then you're not really attaching anything. You're just kind of like laying it flat so you really want it to kind of hook the fibers inside the little ball and so this wool is just uh yeah so there's there's two different kinds of wool that's used for felting um there's oh you lost your <laughs> There's regular uh, roving, which is kind of slightly coarser, and that's usually used for like the uh, inside, you know, to make a ball for the inside that's not really going to be seen. Um, and then there's the merino wool, which is a little bit smoother, that's used for the outside. Okay. I only have, I don't have any roving out, so we're just using merino wool for this. And then probably these little balls that come in a package, I don't even know if they're real wool. <laughs> You yeah. can buy synthetic wool and felt with it, but uh, I haven't I haven't seen it at craft stores. You know, the synthetic stuff you know works fine, um, but the natural wool is kind of nice because um, the fibers of wool actually are kind of resistant to getting dirt on them, so you don't really have to necessarily clean the, the sculpture that you're making. You know, because it kind of resists getting dirty. So that's probably one of the reasons why natural wool is used. Synthetic doesn't quite felt as good either. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, and of course the wool is naturally very kind of like, um, you know, has a lot of curves and kinks in it, so it probably is gonna work a little better. Although I usually mix, you know, sometimes we'll, or and even the felt that you guys have in your kit, you are gonna have a piece of like flat, most likely synthetic, um, Felt for this, the ears and things will be okay. Yeah. All right. So again, if you haven't started on the head, you know, just What's go at your own pace. <laughs> oh, they're broken then. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. If you do get a needle stuck in yours, uh, we'll just pick it out and we'll just replace your needle tool. Usually that happens with the smaller, thinner ones. So why don't you just use, well, you could still use this. Here, I'm gonna give you this one to use instead. And these needles are a little bit thicker. So. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it, does, it does in, in the sense that like some areas will get thicker and thinner. Yeah. But yeah. um, you know, it's not really noticeable unless you're really laying it on there. Okay. And as you're felting, you want to try to like felt the areas that are bubbling up, right? That are kind of like not even. So as you work around. Just kind of go or work around the ball all around as you you know when you're done when it starts to look like a smooth even ball <laughs> with not so many hairs all over the place 
Classes at the McKinney Center too. So yeah, they're a good, good little school. Mm -hmm. Or you could just use that to place the head on top of it. Yeah. You can move on to doing the head part. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to use the other colors for other parts of the oh, rabbit. Oh, white and uh, dark for other things. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, I do lots of ears. I'm very terrible at like. Yes, yes. Yeah, you should have left over. Okay, so as you're making yours, okay, um, but it's okay. try to decide, you know, if you want the proportions of your rabbit to be like a little head and a big body, or you want to make the head a little bit bigger, okay? So I think I'm going to make my head just a little bit bigger, so I'm going to add just another layer of this over the head. But I'm saying, if you have extra of this, if I don't use it all. Uh, that color, yes, I do. Yeah, so right now I'm I'm making it bigger, right? So I'm just gonna wrap it, maybe not to the point I'm just wrapping it, pressing this in, and then since that's the past, yes, exactly. Okay, that's kind of what I was wondering. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. So I just kind of attach it. I can even just kind of attach it first a little bit and then wrap it around just so it's, I know where it's going to go. So here I'm just kind of anchoring it and then maybe I'll wrap this direction. Hey, I do have replacement needles in case you guys break a needle. Okay. That's okay. Yeah, as you go there, you can go ahead and start filting in. You can always add more if it's like not big enough. 
Yeah, and you'll see how thick it, the covering of like one layer of felt makes it. If you feel like you need to add some more, you can definitely do that after. All right, so I kind of got my ball here, but it does take a while to cover a surface, but these should be the parts that take the longest, just the main body, okay? Um, so next month, well, next, the next class I'm having is the, okay, it's just because this one's a bit of time. So if you want, what you can do is just use the needles that I'm using like by themselves. I mean, if there's another extra, you know, fine. That was good here for black. Okay. Always push the hand. Yeah, the black is just for the eye. Let me give you a chance to see some Yep, that's looking good. Okay, so I'm just, again, holding these two together. I just might need that. So you want to just kind of get it to the point where they just look more smooth. Oops, I need to move my body. <laughs> so this one's kind of getting there. You know, you just want to have some evenness to it. But we are going to be working more on it. So it's okay if it's not like perfect, perfect right now. And then even on my body, I can leave a little spot open because that's where the head can attach. So if you have a little bald spot on your styrofoam ball, that's okay. You can put the head on top of that to cover it. <laughs> Okay, that's where it's gonna go. I think I got the size a little bit more proportional the way I want it. Um, have the body mostly covered there. So once you kind of get to this point, we'll be ready to go and start attaching those. Okay, I'll give you guys a little bit more time. It seems like people are still working, so rush. <laughs> oh, you need some more? Okay, well, I have, I have these two. My bunnies, you big, sir. Oh, my God. Kind of like that. I need some of the black. 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 I need some of the black.
So you said you can do this with this ball? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I could go up And it will get into the Okay. Well, so you can do it without the silent ball, so you make a ball. Yeah, it just takes a long time. Yeah, and then a styrofoam ball, it just kind of grabs the inside of the ball, which somehow works. It's just, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to attach the two. Um, if you're ready, some people are ready. If you're not, it's okay. So we're going to take a small amount of the wool and kind of pull like a little bit of a scarf size amount. So I'm pulling a little bit and it's kind of like a little bit of a ribbon of the wool. And I'm going to hold these two together however I want these to go. Okay. And then I'm just going to start laying the ribbon around like a little scarf. Okay. Once I have this, what I like to do is just kind of twist it up a little. So it makes like a little kind of like a rope. Okay. And then lay it on in the middle. And it's going to be a little awkward to hold at first. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in a little on this. Okay. I saw paint left over from the other day. Um, and as this little coil is on the, the top and the bottom, I'm just going to press into the head, kind of going at an angle, and then also press at an angle. Oops, I want to cover my bald spot. Hold on. <laughs> press at an angle the other direction. So some of the fibers are going at an angle into the ball or the body, and then some are going up into the head. Okay. So that should kind of help hold it in place just to start. Okay. And then you can just work your way around. So I'm going to go to the no another section, kind of holding them together a little bit, pressing them together. And I'm going to go up at an angle and then down at an angle. Okay, up at an angle. And you really want to alternate so you don't end up shoving all the wool in one direction or another. If it's feeling like it's too thin or too little wool, then just make sure you add a little bit more, okay? So let's say I want to double this back. I can add more that way. Okay, I'm going to kind of rotate it a little just so it's twisted, almost like a little coil. Wrap that piece around. And just while I'm pressing the ball together, the two little balls together, I'm up into it at an angle down to the bottom. So you took it all the way around before you start? No, you don't have to go all the way around with the coil yeah. first. You can just start in one section at a time. Mm -hmm. um, Oh, yeah. Let me know if you guys have any questions, too. I can come around and help if you need help. What did you do? Uh, I, would, I think I want to do Yeah. Oh, yeah, guys. Big thing if you have the big one, for this part, you're going to want to switch over to the two needles or smaller amounts. So in order to take this apart, you can pull it off. But if you want to just come up and grab some needles and have them up here, I think a small or a medium size would work well. Okay. Does anybody else need the two needles? I do. You do? It all come around and passes out. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Anybody else need the two needles to do the seagulling? 
The two or three needles should be fine for this. Do you hear the crunching? You feel it? Do right, you hear it? That's how you know it's kind of attaching. And for this initial part, you can have one book. Each one is going to be good over the time. Can you hear that? No, I really don't. Okay. 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 I guess we will move yeah, so in here, it's like you want to work on this one. And you want to just want to clear the See how it's kind of springy, right? So you, you want to go in and down so that you can get the punch. Here, I'm going to start with the ball. Okay, and for the first step, you're gonna really double up. If you're double up. When we get the first circuit player, then it's not gonna be so Okay, so you're making the head and the body to do this, right? Okay, so the yes, this is gonna connect on here. Anybody else need some help with this or okay? Sounds like we're okay. It's all quiet. <laughs> Oh, this one's broken. Oh. Did oh. you lose it in there? The, the bottom of the needle? Um, did you know, I think that was. It was just broken. Yeah, I think, I think it might have been broken. I think it might have been broken. Did you lose it? No, I didn't break it yet. And you did it after you broke You probably haven't gone all the way in. Yeah, you know, if your needle gets lost in your project, just okay. it'll it's fine. <laughs> you can live with Don't it. Don't wear the dog or it's all playing. Yeah, exactly. You can feel what's around and yeah, you can go back to double it up. Yeah, the neck after you're done with this initial step, it might seem a little thin, so you can go back and add some more. The layer it so like on mine which have a little ball right here but I can add a little bit more of the blue and and my neck on this one is fairly thin so it just depends on how you want it to look right you want it to have kind of like a big old a big you know section kind of evenly connected to it or if you want to just keep it kind of thin that's totally up to you can you put the one you made back up there oh this one yeah so that right here. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, so next month we're going to be doing the little parakeet uh, for, you know, we're going to be felting the little parakeet. Um, I don't have it made yet, like in a sample made yet, but um, it's just a little gray kind of bird with a little kind of tuft on its head. This is little feathers. Um, and if you are interested in those, just sign up. You know, they do kind of, the classes fill up rather quickly. So. Do you know what day it's probably Um, I don't remember the date, but I could, I could look it up. It's probably not out yet. Not yeah. No, it's not out yet. That's right. It could be in the book. You should probably. Oh, I could ask Michelle what day it was, but I forgot right now. Oh, it's okay. I'm <laughs> Is 
I'm breaking the same time. I just did it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so if you want to learn how to break a needle, okay, all you do is, can I change my, oh yeah, that's fine, all you do is uh, press and then bend the needle, right, so when you press in, you want to pull it out straight, if you press in and go at an angle, right, it's going to break it, uh, also sometimes the needle is just very thin for what you're doing, if you're being very aggressive, you want to use a fatter needle, and then if you're being very delicate in small areas, you want to use a thinner one, um, it's generally easier to do with a thinner one because, again, it's a thinner needle, so it'll go in more easily. Um, but sometimes, you know, it's got to be gentle. Gentle. Yes. <laughs> Are they both lost in there? Heavy hands. Well, they must be. Let me see if I can find them a little bit. Right. Sometimes you can find them by pressing. Uh, gently a little bit on it, and you can make like a needle that pops out of a, uh, a pin right? yeah. yeah. uh, That's okay. <laughs> yeah, just go straight in and out, in and out. And again, it's just you're gonna you're gonna break some needles. That's okay. You're gonna plug yourself. It's okay. Just you know, have band aids handy. <laughs> Have extra needles handy. Okay. I think I'm about ready to go on, but uh, how are we doing? Are you guys attaching this? I think it's still in the middle of attachment, right? Okay. And you really want to get these attached well because you don't want the head popping off of your rabbit later on. So, uh, and you can also kind of give it a little tug, right? So when I tug on it, I can really see where it's lifting up from either side, maybe the bottom or the top. So I can tug on it and I can see, okay, here it's really loose. So I'm gonna add a little bit more right there where it's missing a piece. Just bring it around. <laughs> Do you have a band -aid? I don't have any band-aids, I'm sorry. <laughs> They I know that the they, box in the office. Yeah, they have some in the office. You want me to go get it? Jennifer, you need a band-aid? Uh, real quick. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. I'll go get it. I won't bleed it. We don't want them to be, uh, we don't want them to have red spots on them. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And I can say I put my blood, sweat, and tears. Here's the thing. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Yes. I heard this was a dangerous class. <laughs> it is. It is. They used to bring the bandage right in. And I came anyway. That's on you. You didn't have to sign the waiver. She lucky it didn't be okay. <laughs> That'll be next. <laughs> yeah, punish. <laughs> Oh, you need more than one picture of Pretty much. Say, I'll have a sign of the craft. Oh, you did get that? What's your look at? My daughter was too scared. She was too important to say she was like, parents, your child will cut their nails. 
I should have a traveling uh, kit. Uh, kit. Uh, uh, kit. Uh, kit. Uh, I know. Here's a, a nurse, so we, that first class that I went and that was on their birthday, the food in each of our kits. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 uh, the brown. It could have been that that's when that symbol isn't a small pouch. Oh. Yeah, I remember I pulled it from here. Oh, okay. So maybe I. Yeah. Uh, the, well, let's the see. Feet. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, you could definitely make them with a little bit of a different brown, and it'll just look like it for those. Yeah. Or you can wrap it in a thin layer of another color. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh, no. Okay. So, so mm -hmm. that? I don't know. Oh, that one's made already. That's oh, this color. Oh, or you can pull kind of these this kind of natural color or the darker brown or the how is it? Oh, it's the fourth time. Okay, that's good. You just need to put them again. Yeah, just take that chance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm just checking that bag. Okay. Nope, I just have to fall. All right. That's okay. Oh, it's good to fill it. Okay, so the next part that we're going to do here, oops, I didn't really find we're going to uh, attach the ears. So that's what the little tiny piece of felt in your kit is uh, for. The black color? Okay, it could have been just because I didn't have all the colors. So um, again, it's going to be covered, but I did try to match it somewhat to the color of you know, the wool you're using. So in this case, I just put a little piece of blue. Okay. So yeah, I have more felt up here. I have extra pieces. Of felt. Yeah. So if you need a piece of felt to make the ears, I'm sorry, I didn't put in all the kids, but I have extra pieces here. Anybody else need a color of felt? Yeah. Uh, brown, maybe? Or dark brown? Probably white. White. Anybody else need a piece of felt for their ears? Okay. So it's really up to you the shape that you want your buddy ears. I kind of made them very like oblong. <laughs> so if you want to, um, you know, kind of place your your ears, I kind of like to cut the length first. So if I'm placing the ears, I'm going to say, okay, I want them to be that long. I'm just going to cut it at the length, okay? And then from there, you can just kind of shape them. So I'm going to cut this one in half and just stack them so that I get the same shape for both ears, okay? So maybe I'll just cut them like a little bit of like a point this time. There's one side. And here's 
So these are a little bit more kind of pointy <laughs> rabbit ears. Okay. Um, they're about the same size. So we just kind of want to place them on there and see, okay, is this kind of how we want it to be? Okay. Might it be something like that. All right. So once you have your ears cut out, okay, and if you're not done with something else, you can finish, you know, whatever you're doing. Um, once you have your ears cut out, you're going to use a little bit of the color, the main color of the body. And just get a small kind of ribbon amount. And for this, we're going to lay this ribbon down first. Okay. Can you guys see that? I know it's a little hard to see on the styrofoam block. Okay. And then I'm going to put the ear on top of that. And then I'm going to, well, I'm going to actually slide it down on this a little bit. Okay. So I have enough for it to double over. So I'm just folding it over and we want to have this extra. Okay. We want to have this extra because we're going to use this to connect it onto the head. Okay. So again, if you guys missed it, I have my ear kind of tucked on top and I'm just folding the felt over the ear. Oops. Make sure that the bottom of your ear, my nose was going to ask about that. Uh -huh. <laughs> the bottom of your ear should have where the extra is going. Okay, so we're attaching it the right way. Okay, let's mess that up. So then here, I'm gonna take the two, the needles. Those are not broken. Okay, and I'm going to, uh, and this you really don't wanna go too deep, okay? Maybe like a quarter of an inch. You really just need to get the wool onto that felt. So you can shove it going one direction into the little felt here. I'm kind of going to bring in the sides a little. So I'm just kind of pulling the extra wool and trying to get it onto that felt piece in the inside. Okay. And I would go a little bit on one side, kind of get some of the wool attached, and then flip it over. You're going to notice that it kind of stuck onto the styrofoam. So flip it over so that you're not uh, getting it too stuck. Okay. Flipping it over the other way and then going on the back side. Again, just a little bit, just like a quarter of an inch. Okay. Tucking in some of the side. Okay. Flipping it over again, just to keep it from getting too stuck onto that styrofoam, too. Flipping it again. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. It's not the whole one that I said, but I was wondering like that. Oh, um, you should do that after you're done filming. Oh, I can show you how to fold it. Okay. But actually, why don't I give you a little darker piece of um, this so that you can start with the darker colors instead of the golden color. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I laid that up over it, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> do the same thing. A little bit kind of yeah, see how you have it kind of thick on one side? Actually, you don't need this much. This is probably good for both ears. This much. Put the ear in here, and then the bottom of the ear is going to go on the loose side, right? And then you fold it over. Okay? Here's action. All right, so as you're working, again, just keep in mind, 
you should have the ear kind of starting to form and then the extra fluff on the side that you're gonna to use to attach onto the body, okay? So just keep alternating it, flipping it over until it starts to form. And as far as like how soft it gets, you know, if you want your ear to look really fluffy, um, then just, you know, stop a little bit sooner. <laughs> if you want your ear to look a little bit more firm, maybe like this one, and then you wanna just keep going until it gets a little bit more firm. You can even kind of turn the ear, once you kind of get it more stable, you can turn the ear on its side and tuck some of the little fibers in at an angle. But you kind of really want to be very gentle with that. So you smush your ear. How do you tell? How do you see what you're like when you've got your ear down in there? How do you see your pads? You um, it is a little bit hard to see because it should match the color, right? So you just kind of need to put it up. Oh, you can even put it up to the light to see where your face is. So mine is blue, so it's a little hard to see, but I know that once I hold it up, you can kind of see the other color in there. Okay. And as you start working it more and more, then it'll start to form the shape of the ear. You can see it. But it is tricky to see, you're right. I'm going to keep this ear kind of fluffy just so I can go to my other ear. I'm going to have to go somewhere. Oh, this one? Yeah. Oh, maybe a little more off of the right. Okay, fine. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to do this one on the other ear if you guys want to see that again. Okay, so I'm just taking kind of like a long ribbon of this fluff. Here, I'll put it on the table so you guys can see it. Okay, laying the ribbon down, putting the base of the ear facing this fluffy end, and then folding the other section over. Okay, so the fluff is on the bottom of the ear. Okay, keep alternating, keep flipping your ears back and forward. Very gently, maybe even just like a quarter of an inch in, just enough to get the fibers into that little ear piece. Lots of little small parts on this rabbit. Yeah, I haven't got anything yet. Probably on time. Let's see. It's almost 12. Okay, we'll be good. 